Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Wi-Fi battle. Today, I've got another match with the Forbidden Sun team. This is a, I did a really fun team to use, and I figured I'd hop back on the old Wi-Fi and see if I can get it to work again. Anyway, before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Joey Pokeyame. Uh, he kind of set up the the link code for people finding singles battles has been 2022, 2021. So if you're looking to find some singles battles, uh, you can usually hop on there and, and find a match actually pretty quick, uh, which is awesome. But Looking at this matchup here, it's looking pretty scary, which is nothing out of the ordinary. Opponents bring in kind of like top meta team. Uh, I am seeing a Tyranitar, which is not great for <laughs> my sun capabilities, uh, as they obviously have the Sandstream, be able to get up the Sandstorm, but I'm just going to lead out uh, with Sheldon just to, just to get that sun up and see if I can make something happen early. Um, they're actually going to end up leading off with Cloyster, which is not, you know, ideal. Anytime someone throws a Cloyster out, you're expecting to be Shell Smashed on and you're, you're gonna have a bad time. But, uh, Sheldon comes out, we're gonna get that Drought, it's gonna stay around for eight turns, I do have that Heat Rock, um, which is gonna help out with my Chlorophyll Pokemon there. But, uh, I'm definitely expecting this fella to get up some Shell Smashes. I don't know what it is with people on this ladder, just trying to set up turn one, uh, but actually in this situation, it's not, not ideal for me. So, uh, there's a couple options here. Either he goes for uh, just a straight up water move. I'm expecting probably they're going to go ahead and shut up, set up that shell smash. So I kind of have to <laughs> assign a Pokemon to come in here and get absolutely beat the fuck up by, you know, this big water vagina here. So I decide to go into the Sunflower. I'm thinking, you know, Sunflower is probably the least important Pokemon for me in this matchup. So if I do need to die to be able to get in a free switch, uh, that'll be, you know, the best case scenario. So, they actually do end up going for the Shell Smash there. Now, important note here, I don't see them actually activate a White Herb, herb item, which tells me they're definitely going to be Focus Sash. And I can use that knowledge to kind of help me out here uh, with the rest of my plays. So, I'm just going to go for the Ice School Spirit. Damn near kills me in one. It didn't even need to use the full five. Uh, Sunflora does go down. So, rest in peace for our Fallen Soldier. F's in chat for the Sunflora, but it's okay. Because now, seeing that they didn't activate the White Herb, now I'm going to go ahead and look at my team. I'm thinking, who can outspeed after a, sh a Shell Smash? But ultimately, what I'm going to end up deciding is the best case scenario is I'm going to actually end up going into the Gastrodon here because I can go for an Earth Power, I can break this thing's Focus Sash and also take a hit. Uh, depending on what set this thing is, I'm pretty sure full defensive Gastrodon can definitely take at least one Ice School Spear from this fella. So does go for the Ice School Spirit with the skill link ability. Cloyster is able to get off um, the maximum of five hits on every multi-turn attack, which is, is damn near annoying as hell because Gastrodon's sitting over here like, ow, the fuck, ow, the fuck. So he's having a bad time, but uh, I am able to live that. And thank God Squishy is just all out defensive wall as this allows me to then go for an Earth Power. It has minus one defenses, so it's uh, able to knock this thing down to its Focus Sash. And now at least hopefully I should be able to um, kind of figure out what to do against this damn cloister now. Um, I'm trying to decide if I can be able to switch out on anything, but honestly, after a shell smash, nothing wants to take an attack from cloister. So I essentially just have to let the Gastrodon go down, which does suck because, you know, I've lost, um, losing Gastrodon in this matchup does really suck. It's great for Pokemon like the, uh, Tyranitar over there. It's good for the, uh, the Garchomp. There's a lot of Pokemon that this thing would have been nice for. Metagross, you know, just in general. Really good mod, but sometimes you gotta fucking do what you gotta do. So now I can finally bring in the Kale. Um, I know that with the sun up, I should be able to outspeed here, and I can kill it with the Leaf Blade, which is going to be what happens. So that takes care of the Cloyster. Luckily, they're not carrying Ice Shard. Um, that could have been that could have been not not great for me. But Leafion basically says you gotta eat some more greens, bitch, and just bop some with the Leaf Blade. So that's fantastic. Now in comes a Suicune. It's shiny because, of course, it, it's shiny. Everything you play against... <laughs> I don't know why people think it's... You gotta make everything shiny. I don't know. But, uh, this is interesting. I don't know why they would decide to go into Suicune here. I'm just gonna stay in and click Leaf Blade. I could potentially set up some Swords Dances, but I don't want to get too greedy early. As they actually end up going for a Calm Mind, which is... Um, great for me, because now I can just kill it with another Leaf Blade. They had a lot of Pokemon they could have switched into instead of this. Um, maybe they expected me to to conserve Leafeon and switch this thing out into um, something else. But I, I just stay in and I'm just gonna tell this thing the same thing I told Cloyster. How many times do I gotta teach you this lesson? Eat your kale, as that takes care of the Suicune. So um, I, I assume they just didn't see Suicune as important in this match um, and just decided to try to get up a combine. But 
Uh, in comes a Metagross now. Now, Metagross is a Pokemon I can't really do too much against. I also don't really have much that wants to switch into it. I have Sheldon, but I'm thinking switching into Torkoal here has to be the obvious play, right? They're definitely going to expect me to do that. So I'm just going to stay in, uh, get some decent X Scissor damage. It does a little bit of chip. He's going to make this thing easier to take care of later, as he actually ends up going for the Meteor Mash. I know I can definitely take one. It shows me that this thing is going to be working with Life Orb, and the Sun is going to go away, which is actually great, because now when I can bring in Torkoal later, I can just set that back up, uh, at least until the Tyranitar comes in. But uh, it is going to actually be Bullet Punch here. It's not going to quite knock me out. Is this allows me to get another X Scissor off. I really just wanted to get as much damage as possible on this Xbox 360 looking motherfucker, just because I do need... Um, and my, my team doesn't handle it well other than Sheldon, I suppose. But I'm thinking now, whatever, I'm just going to go into Sheldon here. He's likely just going to bullet punch. Uh, I can take that easily. And then I can hit something pretty hard in the sun with the lava plume and potentially uh, get a burn. So uh, Sheldon comes in. He, he can't really see what's going on. Homeboy just doesn't open his eyes, but uh, he takes a bullet punch. So I just send him out into a nice little little storm of gunshots, which he says that's fine. I got you know, I got my shell on. We're having, we're having fun here. Um... So looking at my team, I really kind of have to conserve my <laughs> conserve my mods at this point. I'm thinking Executor Sweep is probably going to be the best way for me to win this. I also have the Leafeon, who they don't have hazards up, so I could come back in on that thing uh, and maybe make some things happen. So they're going to end up switching out the Metagross here and just go into the Gyarados. So um, I am going to get Intimidated, which is annoying, but I'm thinking if I can land a Lava Plume here in the sun, potentially get a burn, I can really make this Gyarados easier to deal with. I go for the Lava Plume here in the sun. It's actually going to do, you know, a little bit, not, not a whole lot. Sheldon tries his best. I don't end up getting the burn, which really sucks. And now I'm like, you know what? Whatever. I'm, 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 I'm doing it. I'm going to go for the explosion here. They go for the waterfall. I take that like nothing because of the sun being up. And now it's time. Obviously, since I was intimidated, it's not really going to do much, um, but it does allow me to now get a free switch into whatever I want. Now, that was a little bit of a risky play. Uh, I, I probably should have conserved the turtle, but realistically, you know, I, I just was like, whatever. I'm going to explode on this thing, make this Gyarados uh, in killable range, and then bring in the absolute legend, the delicious looking fella, <laughs> the, the sun cast form. Now, if, if, if cast form was a candy, I would definitely eat him. Especially in sun form. He looks he looks delicious. The forbidden candy. Um, I'm able to take a waterfall there because of the sun easily. Um, and then I'm able to fire back with a thunderbolt. Takes care of the Gyarados. He does not give a shit about your recon berry. And cast form is able to log himself a nice little kill there. Which is always, is always fun to see. So that's pretty great. Next they're going to bring in the Tyranitar. And that's going to get rid of the sun. So I'm thinking, I, you know, I shouldn't have exploded. It allowed me to take care of the Gyarados. But realistically, I, I probably should have kept the turtle around. I just didn't have much to switch into... Uh, the Gyarados there, um, but that's fine. So Tyranitar comes in and basically says no fun allowed here. Also, you know what really grinds my gears? Cast form doesn't have a sand form. Like why, why wouldn't he? I, it's a real bummer, but I do have the sunny day and I'm like, whatever, I'm just going to click sunny day here. I'm able to get up the sun. I say no more sandstorm. I say no fun for you, Mr. Reptar Godzilla guy. And I'm just going to turn right back into my nice little delicious gummy looking self. Um, I'm obviously just going to die here, but I was able to at least get the... Get the sun up, which allows me to then allow uh, some pressure put on this uh, this Tyranitar here, which I'm actually not sure if the if the sun really mattered. I can bring an Executor here, um, which is kind of my last big threat. Kale is sitting over there with 6 HP, and I'm going to need to be able to set up some Swords Dances with that thing to make anything happen, but Executor is looking nice here. I'm afraid of the crunch from this guy, so what I have to do is go ahead and click Sleep Powder. Now, if they stay in, that's actually best case scenario. Um, and I land the sleep powder, but they're actually going to end up switching out and go into the Metagross here, who is pretty much just fodder at this point. Um, but this is great practice for for the palm tree. I say land the sleep powder so we can help you can help me out, maybe know how to do it and, and land another one later. So I do put this thing to sleep, and um, obviously this thing is in range to take it out. But I'm thinking if there's a way for me to win this match, it's going to be setting up with Kale. If I can get some swords dances up, I outspeed everything on the rest of their team. Um, and I should potentially be able to get up a sweep, but it's going to rely on uh, this Xbox over here to sleep for a couple turns and allow me to play with some swords while they're over there just snoozing. So I switch into Leafy on. They do stay asleep. I'm thinking, okay, this is this is good. First part of the plan, the plan is complete. I go for a swords dance here. He tries to bullet punch through the sleep. It is going to stay sleeping, and I'm like, okay, he's likely uh, going to just bullet punch here and potentially wake up. And if he does, that's pretty much going to be the match. 
Um, but I have my swords dance up and we're looking we're looking solid. I'm just gonna go for the X scissor to take it out. It does stay asleep, so rare very rare for me to get sleep turns to kind of work how I need them to, but that was amazing. Uh, <laughs> Metagross is gonna die to an X scissor there, and we're looking good. All their last Pokemon are gonna be the Tyranitar and the Garchomp. Meanwhile, I have Leafy on and I have Executor. So we can potentially do this if things work out perfectly. Uh, so they go into the Tyranitar here just to get up that Sandstream again. Uh, the Sandstream is mostly annoying because of the fact that now I'm going to take uh, Sandstorm damage. And I realize now that actually at 6, I'm just going to die to one turn of Sandstorm damage, which uh, is very annoying. But I'm able to at least, before I go down, hit him with the nice little Leaf Blade that takes care of the, the T-Tar, um, which is great. So now it's all down to basically my Executor against that Garchomp. So I do go down to the Sandstorm there. Hate to see it, but Leafeon always does better than you expect it to, honestly. Um, so now I'm gonna go into Executor here. Obviously I have no other choice, and he's chilling in the sandstorm. He says, this is not the tropical environment that I'm used to, but I'm just gonna have to make it do. So, the way for me to win this match, boys, is for me to hit a Sleep Powder, allow him to sleep for two turns while I kill it with a Psychic and then a Leaf Storm. So I go for the Sleep Powder thinking, please, please connect on this Sleep Powder, I can win this match, and it'll be insane. Um, he actually does outspeed, he ends up having Shadow Claw, which is interesting, does a little over half. I'm now able to go for the Sleep Powder, and I miss, which sucks. I was like, Executor, we, we just practiced this, man. He's like, I guess there's sand in his eyes. To get, he, he got like si three pairs of eyes, though, so I don't, there's no excuse. Anyway, that's gonna take care of the Executor there as I died in another Shadow Claw, but we came this close. Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this team performed, it's really fun for me to use. Um, but, you know, sometimes that's that's the way matches goes. They don't always go in your favor, but you just gotta, you know, have fun doing it. So thank you guys very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you enjoy teams like this. I will continue to uh, to make some, you know, fun gimmick teams. It's, it's what I enjoy. And also, if you're looking for matches, do use that 2022-2021 uh, link code. It will, it, it, it does help out a lot because you're able to find matches really easily. And yeah, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. I appreciate all of you. Peace out.